This bottle is expensive. This one, not so expensive. Life goes up and it goes down. Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So for today, we have the wine. I'm drinking Stella Rose Peach today, in case you're wondering what's in my glass. I'm sitting in front of my perfume collection today because for today's video, I'm going to be doing my updated perfume collection. I know how much you guys love and adore watching these videos. Personally, one of my favorites to watch. Love perfumes. I love smelling good. I love fragrance. I feel like fragrances are just little bits of luxury and it's just amazing how we can smell divine. This is gonna be a long one. I have a lot of perfume. There is a lot of perfume back there. So I just sit down and grab yourself a little glass of wine, your coffee, your hot chocolate, your tea. I collaborated with Dossier to bring you guys today's video because this is very exciting. They are coming to Walmarts near you guys. If you guys don't understand what Dossier is, they make perfumes that are inspired by luxury brand fragrances and they are identical. I'm telling you, identical like if you guys know my channel like if you found if you're on my channel you probably found me through a diy or some sort of bougie on a budget type of video so i feel like you guys are just gonna absolutely love this i've had dossier fragrances in the past and was very 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 impressed with them i'm very excited because the ones that i got today i got two that i really 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 wanted for a long time I bite the bullet because look at the look at the enormous perfume collection i have i don't need any more perfumes but i would if it's on a budget like this 100% will so if you're one of those girls that maybe has a pretty decent perfume collection or you may not have a big one because you can't afford one this is a great way to start your collection if you want to pass by somebody and them ask you like what are you wearing dossier who's gonna know who's gonna know I already wore one of them for like a full day just to test it and the wear time incredible could not even smell a difference between the two to be honest you guys know part of me being on this channel is putting you on to ways to save money we spend a lot of money on this channel so every now and again i like to find a way for us to all save money let me get into the perfumes that i got from dossier and show you guys all of them i have four dossier perfumes in today's video so the one i've been wanting forever um, on dossier is called floral grapefruit and this fragrance is inspired by chanel chance and and I just love how Chanel Chance smells very floral, very fruity, very fresh, and hence it being called floral grapefruit. The top notes on this one is grapefruit, pear, blackcurrant. The middle notes are hyacinth, jasmine, lilac, and the base notes are orris, musk, and amberwood. Um, this is 18% concentration. All of the perfumes come with these little cards with all of the information on them. Oh my gosh, this smells exactly like Chanel Chance. And let me tell you guys, I have, I go into the store, I smell this all the time. I've had little samples that I've used and thrown in my purse. I know what this smells like, okay? This smells exactly like Chanel Chance. Now, another little experiment I want to do is I'm going to go on my Ulta app and I'm just going to look up Chanel Chance and we're going to read the notes. This one is Chanel Chance Eau Tendra. I'm probably butchering that. It is for the parfum version of that, which tends to last longer on the skin. If you guys don't know, the difference between parfum and toilet is basically the concentration of the oil in the perfume. Parfum tends to just be a little bit more concentrated. It's been proven that perfume fragrances do last longer they have more of like a 10 hour wear versus like a toilet perfume has about a six hour four five to six hour wear i believe i could be wrong on that we have this little friend called google so if you guys are really curious feel free to look it up okay so i found the notes for you guys on the original chanel per, uh, tundra par perfume perfume not good at this pronunciation gonna just mention that again so the top notes are quince and grapefruit the middle notes are hyacinth and jasmine base notes base notes are musk iris virginia cedar and amber so that is pretty close in the notes you guys that's very impressive next one we have is 
Woody Oak Moss, and this is inspired by Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. You guys know I'm a Chanel girl with fragrances. I love Chanel, I love Burberry, I love Versace. Those are probably my favorites, and I really do also like YSL, like probably at the end of those that I just mentioned. It has a concentration of 15%. This is the one that I wore side by side and they lasted literally the same amount of time, which was very, very impressive. Here I have my very scratched, <laughs> the label's a little scratched up. This is my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I'm very excited to have one I can throw in my purse because I scratch this one up when I throw it in my purse. This bottle is expensive. This one, not so expensive. I'll overlay the price comparison of both of these fragrances right here. The top notes on this one are bargman, orange, peach. The middle notes are jasmine, rose, and patchouli. The base notes are oak musk, vanilla, and vetiver. Vetiver. <laughs> Said that wrong. The last note was vetiver. <laughs> Okay, yes, 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 smells the same, what? As I told you guys, I already tried this one. They smell the exact same, like, cannot tell one from the other at all. Next one I have is, I love these little boxes they come in, it's so well packaged. This one is Floral Marshmallow, and this is another one I've wanted for a very, very long time, but I've never gotten it. I could not tell you if this one smells the exact same. But I smelled it in store before and I can tell you it smells familiar. So this is by Killian. This is a love, don't be shy perfume. This is a concentration of 18%. And I will put the notes down in the description box for those of you who are interested. It has a very, very wine scent to it. I don't know how to explain it. It, it smells a little grapey, but in a best way possible. It's sweet, it's fruity. It's, it's very like intoxicatingly like sexy I feel like so I really like it this one does have a tint to it it looks like this the very last dossier perfume that I have is the ambery mint perfume this one is inspired by Versace Eros this is one of my favorite perfumes let me show you guys so this is my bottle right here this is what it looks like this retails for about 130 dollars in the 100 millimeter size one is a 1.7 fluent ounce 1.7 fluent ounce this is a 3.4 fluent ounce so that gives you a comparison when i tell you guys this smells amazing like this is i've worn this for years it's just the best date night perfume it's that perfume everybody stops you and ask you what you're wearing. My, I've gotten my mom on this. I've gotten friends on this. Everybody absolutely loves this. So I recommend, recommend, recommend getting this because it smells the exact same. I'm not even kidding. Like this is, that one's what I'm wearing today. So that's why I'm gonna spray it on myself. I didn't spray the rest because I don't want to like spray a bunch of perfume on myself and then lose my sense of smell through this but i'm gonna spray this one so i sprayed one here i'm gonna spray the original on this side and also before we smell it i'm gonna overlay the price of these like the price comparison of these two that's very impressive how i like these smell like they smell pretty much identical I think the arrows is slightly sweeter but there's not enough of a difference for it to really matter like they just smell the same literally very identical and to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of details if you decide you do not like dossier they do have a return policy they offer a 30-day return period in which you can return any unsealed does your perfume to get a full refund really no questions asked so i thought that was pretty cool so if you're unsatisfied i promise you you won't be though but if you're unsatisfied there's that are 39 dollars while designer scents range from you guys know 50 dollars up to like big three digit numbers like 300 dollars. they're always adding new scents so if there's any other perfume i mentioned throughout my perfume collection go get it on dossier first try it out see if you like it first without committing to that very very large price tag of the actual bottle so i know i told you guys are coming to a walmart near you so let me give you a little bit of details on that six of their top sellers are actually in stores you can find the closest store where these are available on their website the link will be down below in the description box for you guys to do that and you can also find the whole collection on walmart.com or on dossier.co that's how you guys can get your hands on these fragrances and of course i do have 
the hookup for you guys so on top of them already being so affordable i'm going to give you guys my personal coupon code to hook you up so it's right here it's tania gonzalez 10 and you guys will get an extra 10 percent off i believe so let's go ahead and get started with the rest of the perfume collection should i start i'm gonna start here these are kind of like the ones i'm trying to reach for and kind of finish i'm going to insert the first one because it's actually in my luggage and it is ysl opium it's in a black bottle i'll insert a picture here that is the first one that i'm going to mention to you guys just because it's not here and i don't want to forget to show you guys that one i have like this much left of that that's my going out perfume lately and i'm trying to just finish it because i have so many to get through and i, I love that one don't get me wrong absolutely adore ysl black opium but i have this much left and i'm just I'm trying to go through it i love it i'm enjoying it so don't mind that at all let's get into the rest so of course you guys saw i have coco chanel mademoiselle and i have taken a while to go through this because i alternate my perfumes my favorites um if it wasn't one of my favorites i wouldn't have chosen it to get a second one from dossier i chose one that i know i will use up because i love them that much yes i believe this is my second bottle of this in the last like four years next we have another one i'm trying to also finish up you guys will see it is literally almost gone this is burberry her my signature fragrance when you think of me this is what i'm always wearing usually a lot of the times this is kind of like my everyday perfume um i try to save like my chanel for like little bit of special occasion I do still love burberry her for any occasion sometimes i just wear her because i love it so much you know so this is one of my all-time favorites i you'll notice i have like three bottles of this i'm trying to go through this very small one i have my burberry blush and this one is a very it's like sweet but floral it's really nice it's very beautiful soft everyday scent that smells really fresh and pretty this is very like you know going for macarons and shopping at home goods i don't know like that's the stuff i do when i wear this stuff my life is like, not that interesting so i mean you know i'll describe this to you in the best ways i can to relate to me but you guys will hear a lot of the same scenarios <laughs> i'm wearing this to class so if you want like a good wear to class perfume i think this is a good one this is another one i consider a going out perfume i feel like most of my ysl fragrances are going out fragrances because they're just a bit stronger this is a very beautiful muskiness to it it's it's dark but it's light at the same time it's like a good girl gone bad type of fragrance. Feel your baddest self. I feel like this is a good going out fragrance. I think I, like YSL Opium gives me like the same energy, but I feel like this one is definitely that it girl, like that bad it girl energy. Really like this one. This has been a favorite for a long time. This is like my third bottle of this since I was like in my early 20s so really like this i have a really good everyday fragrance this is miss dior blooming bouquet if you like very sweet very clean scents you'll love this this has like almost a soapiness to it but in a good way it just smells really really clean really really fresh but it has a hint of sweet to it so it's not bitter it's not citrus it's definitely sweet and fresh but more fresh than sweet yeah this bottle is also really cute wine break next i have my good friend gabby di martino's perfume this is beautiful mess and this is very interesting let me tell you like when she describes it she describes it so well when she describes it it's literally a bakery with like orange creamsicle but it smells so good it's so unique it's like intoxicatingly girly in the best way possible it's so girly but we all know gabby to be like the girliest girl on youtube so this is definitely when i think of her i think of how this smells she did well with this and this like the, the lasting power on this i will smell like this thing for days like i have to wear this days at a time because i'm like okay my clothes like whatever jacket i'm wearing that week still smells like gabby di martino so i'm like okay i gotta i gotta just spray that again because it's just it smells so good okay, this one i'm saving for my wedding okay um this is the fragrance look i have chills this is the fragrance i wore um when manny and i met and i just want to smell like that again for a wedding i don't know i just feel like it'll be very nostalgic i feel like i can't think of any other fragrance that i would wear aside from this this is chanel allure this is very clean very sexy very like sweet clean i don't know how to explain this like 
this is just what you wear on a date night hands down like this is probably my favorite date night perfume that i own no i just feel like i save it for those special occasions an anniversary um a, a special date night with him a birthday um if your girl's gonna wear lingerie yeah we just save it for those moments it lasted me a long time because of that but this is incredible i would really recommend this to any girl who needs like a signature fragrance this is just one of those fragrances that it will be your signature fragrance because it's very very like like it just consumes you i don't know it smells really good though. i kind of regret purchasing a little bit but i got it for the bottle who has done that before guilty as charged and this one it smells very good it's sweet on me but because fragrances just pull sweet on me i feel like fragrances smell different on everybody it is a sweet floral scent but i feel like if we compare this one and blooming bouquet i like this one more weirdly but i still reach for this one the most i don't know what it is i just think when i'm reaching for a sweet fragrance there's just other things i reach for that i forget about this but when i reach for a clean fragrance this is definitely my go-to because i'm like i know this one's gonna give me that but i just i feel like i prefer how this smells but it gets lost in like all the sweet perfumes i have i do kind of regret purchasing it because i just have so many sweet perfumes that i don't give this one enough love so i think we're gonna give this one more love hey guys this is not a perfume this is a gucci bloom body oil but i love this thing so i thought i would show it to you guys real quick i do have a new fragrance we're going to open and smell i tell you this bottle is cute and it smells divine so this is the Ariana Grande Mood Perfume and I almost got the other color too but I was like no Tanya you have way too much perfume just pick one so we picked the pink one because obviously I mean obviously this packaging is really cool and this I remember this smelling amazing in stores good it, really good like I cannot believe how good this smells it's like fresh citrusy and sweet at the same time in the best way possible like, this could be your everyday for sure because it's like soft enough but it, it definitely pulls you in like it it's it's strong but not too strong you know so i'm sure you guys saw these sitting in the back they look really 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 pretty these are both paris hilton i just picked these up at cvs a little bit back because they had fragrances buy one get one free during the holidays i never hauled these i forgot but this was kind of my little little christmas present to myself not that i needed to give myself anything else but it was too good the price was too good both i got both of these for like 38 dollars so i thought that was amazing and these both smell divine this one is my favorite not because it's pink the scent is just really up my alley it's very sweet and floral and and fresh um yeah all the things i like you guys and then this one is more of a date night like a night out it's very like intoxicating you know that kind of scent it has like a vanilla note in it i feel like it gives me like a little hint of vanilla these are 3.4 fluid ounce and this i would wear for days this, this i would wear for a night next we have the perfumes here which are all juicy couture and like victoria's secret so we're going to go ahead and go through those victoria's secret um tease perfume i know you guys have seen this before i don't know if i actually hauled this on youtube but definitely posted it on my instagram and this is like probably the sweetest perfume in my collection right now i might change my mind about that so don't don't like hold me on that <laughs> but this is very intoxicatingly sweet like we're talking like pink sugar sweet but this one has like i feel like a little bit of floral well teas is floral this says sugar floor so <laughs> you know sugar and flowers that's what it smells like but definitely the sugar is more prominent than the floral it smells very good it's like cotton candy and florally at the same time I have this little baby juicy couture perfume it's very cute this one is very 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 sweet like it definitely that's the main thing about it like a girl's day type of perfume you know what i would spritz on just so i can smell like yummy i don't know they come hug me i, I smell good or something like when they leave <laughs> i don't know i can't remember the lasting power i like the juicy fragrances to be honest but i remember wearing viva la juicy every single day of like my high school life and it stayed on pretty well to me i'm gonna go through these a little faster because girl i'm looking at the time we're about to hit 40 minutes we don't want it to be that long so next we have this one this is 
a uh, juicy couture la la bow not sure how it's supposed to go like is it towards the back or towards the front because this front part has like a little necklace thing so i don't know but it's very cute i love the diamond okay, this one is very florally very sweet as well and kind of reminds me a lot reminds me a lot of miss dior to be honest so really like this and it's like a really pretty packaging i love that the liquid's like a rose gold next we have this super glittery rose gold and gold perfume from juicy this is viva la juicy rose and or is it rose yeah it's rose this is the one it smells like a bottle of wine we have this one and i think i'm confused because i think this one's the one that smells like wine the bubbly the Viva Le Juicy Le Bubbly. Let me see. Yeah, this is the one that smells just like champagne. It gives more of a soapy, like, rosé, soapy floral smell. The last juicy one I think is my favorite juicy fragrance that I have. And I'm so sad they make it in such a tiny bottle. But this smells divine. I've gotten, like, friends smell this and they bought it just because, like, they smell it one time and they buy it. The I can't smell anymore, guys. Just trust. This smells great. Trust. And my non-girly friends that are not super girly to buy this, so... Um, don't remember what this one is called because it doesn't really say it on the bottle. You'll find these at Ulta and they have like all these different colors and this one smells great. The pink one and the yellow one also smell great. Now we get to my cake tower. Oh my gosh, so many. So let's get through them quickly. I just want more descriptions. I have previous perfume collections that I will link below. I have YSL Lieb. Maddie got me this one for an anniversary. Very amazing date night type of fragrance. It has like that intoxicating scent to it but it has a bit of a grape like grapefruit or grape scent to it we have ariana grande no which one this is but it's this bottle it's like pink no the pink sugar or pink like candy i don't even know guys but all the ariana grande ones that go that are in this bottle smell really good i have a victoria's secret bombshell beach this is definitely a very summer scent it's reminds me of sunsets and tanning we have gucci guilty i wore this every single day for such a long time this smells really good i don't know which version of gucci guilty this is because i know i have the original gucci guilty that also smells amazing but it's gold so i guess this is like the femme the femme one it gives that luxury smell it's not too sweet it's not too musky it's not too anything it's just very luxurious very it smells like a rich bitch next we have gucci bloom i believe i already told you guys this smells amazing it reminds me of gucci guilty femme a little bit but more sweet like way more sweet okay, i don't need to say much about this one we just have a another bottle the other one was a one ounce this is a 1.7 ounce of my burberry herd which is my signature daisy love this is a great this is dusty oh my goodness how embarrassing <laughs> oh okay haven't picked this one up in a while i'm just gonna be honest this is a very romantic version of their original daisy perfume it just has like hints of vanilla in it and it just makes it a lot more like romantic smelling we have a product handy i mean i have not worn this one in a while and now that i see it i'm like why very sweet if you if you do not like intoxicatingly sweet fragrances you probably will not like this this is extremely extremely sweet yeah this has a lot of vanilla in it. You could just like smell it. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back memories. I feel so nostalgic right now. I want to cry. This reminds me when I, st when I started my YouTube channel, I would wear this all the time. It was my go-to at the time. I kind of had my time with Viva La Juicy in high school and I discovered this in college, I think. It was the start of my channel. Like right the summer I graduated from high school, I started my YouTube channel. Wow. Okay. We need to get it going. We've had enough of a moment with that. Guys, I don't know which Coach fragrance this is, but I'll just show you the bottle. This is probably the best Coach fragrance, not even gonna lie. I smelled all of them before. I love this one. This was actually a gift from a family member, so they gifted me this for Christmas last year, so thank you. And this is a really, really good every day. I've dented it a little bit. Um, when I first got it, I would wear it all the time. I have Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. This just smells like really, really, really fresh, really good. Good everyday scent, but it doubles as everything. Like you could just wear this for everything. Next, we have a couple Ariana fragrances I might declutter just because I have not touched them in quite a while. 
Um, we have the Ariana Grande, I believe this is Rem, and then we have Ariana Grande. I don't know what this was called, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, these don't have names on them, but I really like these. They had their time. This one reminds me of pickles. If you own this, go smell it. You will not be able to unsmell it. My friend Gabby told me that one day. Couldn't unsmell it ever since, and I couldn't wear it ever since because I just smell pickles now. Um, it smells so good though, but I don't know. I just think of pickles now. Onto this middle tier, I have this fragrance that I will be decluttering. This is Guerlain. I did like this. I did put a dent in it. However, Manny does not like this at all. He says it smells... I don't even know. What did you say this smelled like? Oh no, let me see. You didn't like it when I wore it. And I'm just like, well, I'm with you 24-7, so... It's, it's like a very strong, flowery scent. Like it smells very elegant, like really, really. A little so too overly elegant. He says it's too mature for me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> to declutter some perfume, and honestly, I'm with Manny 24-7. Like, he is my soon-to-be husband, so... Probably want to wear stuff that he uh, does not get dizzy smelling. He just says it's way too strong for him. Um, but it is very sophisticated of a smell, like very sophisticated, which is why I liked it. But I don't know. I think he's kind of right. It is pretty strong. <laughs> for a fact, I won't be spraying this around him just because... Honestly, like if it makes his stomach hurt to smell it, I don't want him to smell it and vice versa. There's some colognes I just can't smell because they make me feel like like my stomach starts cramping. And does that happen to any of you guys? There's just certain colognes I cannot stand smelling. Um, chrome being one of them. <laughs> Weird because I love Blue de Chanel, which is very strong, but I can't smell chrome. There's just certain ones or like the ones that have a really like woodsy, very bitter smell i cannot i don't know if that happens to any of you guys but i'm the same way with candles so Victoria's secret bombshell seduction i wore this every day during the winter of 2020 and then i wore this like most of the winter last year and this year i forgot about it like a really sexy hint to it all the bombshells do though especially this one says bombshell seduction so you kind of get the hint we have the original my burberry and this just smells very very mature and sophisticated but in a fresh way so it's not like super musky or like too strong for me um so i really like this and i've only worn it a couple of times but i hope to wear it more this year we have versace crystal i've gone through one of these before my mom gifted one of me these for well, gifted me the, one of these for christmas and it just it smells really good it's a good everyday scent it's fresh it smells like you got out of the shower and you just smell really clean and it's kind of sweet at the same time we have flower bomb do i even need to talk about flower bomb like you guys please don't make me don't make me go through flower bomb if you have dulce by dulce and the and gabbana and this is the garden version of it and okay this is a very like sophisticated sweet scent so if you want something that's not too sugary, not too cotton candy, you know, but it's just like a sophisticated sweet type of thing, you would really, really like this. Next, I have my Chloe perfume. I love the Chloe perfumes. Rose de Chloe. So this one is very florally as well. And these bottles tarnish so bad. I've cleaned them a million times and they just keep tarnishing. So I just gave up. have this one, which Manny loves. This is Victor and Rolf uh, Bon Bon. And... Smells like a very sophisticated, sweet um, nighttime scent. Kind of reminds me a lot of the vibe that YSL Black Opium has. So if you like that, you'll probably love this. So we have C by Giorgio Armani. They're very boss girl sophisticated scent. This makes you think of a girl who runs like an entire place, really. So if you're that girl, you'll love this. This definitely has a little bit of musk to it. It's a little deep. It's a little sexy, but it smells very good. Next, we just have Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I feel like I don't need to talk about this one either. This one is just a very um, loved fragrance. Very good for every day, for a college student, for a high school girl. Um, but it's also very good for your everyday girl that's minimalistic and something easy to throw on that just smells really clean, really good. We have another juicy fragrance. This one is... I don't know what the name of this one is. It smells like a Starburst. <laughs> it's really sweet. Hold on. Yeah, this smells like a Starburst or like a sour candy. Interesting that I bought this. <laughs> so... 
I don't know. Maybe once it's on me, it, it has a it takes a different scent to it. Maybe around smelling like a Sour Patch Kid. Sure, why not? We have Gucci Guilty. If I were to go to an interview, this is what I would wear. If I were to go, I don't know, present something, sell myself in a marketing pitch. If I had to go and like talk to my sponsors in person or something, this is what I would wear. This one, it's just, it smells like you're the real deal. <laughs> I don't know, it smells really good. This one is not too sweet or floral or any of those. It's just the good in between. It has deepness to it, um, but it smells very, very good. It's a good every day as well if you like work in an office or something like that. We have the original Chloe, which is also very tarnished, but it smells amazing and we have the YSL Mon Paris, um perfume couture I don't remember what it was called but it's like a deeper darker even like sexier like stronger version of the original um Mon Paris. Valentino Donna this smells so good like yep this is another one of those you would wear for an interview or like very executive fragrance very boss girl fragrance i feel like this is a new fragrance that i have i got this for christmas from a family member so thank you so much and i'm obsessed literally it smells amazing it's everything that i love it's sweet it's fresh it's floral but it's dark and this is what i like i like very intoxicating fragrances this is kate spade new york the notes are rose ambrox wild strawberry Lo and behold, my giant bottle of Burberry hair. Do we need to say more? I don't think so. We have Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande, one of my favorites from her. It's just very, very sweet, very good everyday fragrance. I will spray this for errands. Um, love the little pom-pom too on it, really cute. We have Prada Floral and this one is basically like sweet like candy but floral and fresh it's very very fresh it smells a little soapy even like if you like those out of the shower smelling perfumes you will absolutely adore this it was my everyday fragrance for years and i finally repurchased it like a couple years back or a, a year ago i think and um yeah i still reach for it so i really like it victoria's secrets love fragrance i put quite a dent in this i used to wear this every single day for a while this smells very romantic and sweet and fresh so i really liked it for an everyday fragrance and it's not too strong but it's just like perfect this is the last one and this is victoria's secret heavenly um heavenly summer and i wore this all summer last summer it just has, I don't know, like, I don't want to say a sunscreen smell because that's very weird. Like, it's not a sunscreen smell, but it's like a smell that pairs well with sunscreen. I don't know how to explain that, but it's very, very beachy vibes. Very summer, but it's also kind of sweet, kind of fresh. Because I showed you guys this when I was comparing the fragrances, I forgot about it. One of my all-time favorites. I used to wear this every single day of my life. Um, this was like chanel allure or like burberry herf to me like this was my staple for the longest time this smells very good i've gotten my mom on this i've gotten friends on this it just smells amazing it's it's very sexy like very like when you walk by what are you wearing what is that i need it so yes we love this through half of my wine glass i guess i was just talking too much to finish it but that was everything i have in my perfume collection for today you guys i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go don't forget to check out dossier if you liked any of these fragrances you want to try and find them on there uh, make sure you use my coupon code tania gonzalez 10 for those everything will be in the description box and on the pinned comment down below if you stayed until the end leave me this emoji right, i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that